Hey guys, Dr. Susie G here, and I'm going to share one of my favorite techniques to help with that gnawing, aching, just literally a pain in the ass feeling, right? So if you have symptoms, discomfort, pain with sitting, this is a technique that you should give a try. So before I show you the technique, which is literally called the butt lift, exciting, I want to share with you why we're going to do the butt lift. So take, for example, this pelvis. This is a pelvis. These are the two bones that you sit on. If you were to lie on your back, the anus would be here, the base of the penis would be here, and for those that have a vagina or vulva, this still applies. I just happen to be using a male model. You have nerves that come from the back of your thigh, from underneath your sit bones that supply this area. And they apply, they supply the area around the skin. And they actually go to the tailbone and to the anus um, and then to the genitals, okay? But what most people don't know either is that there's a nerve that exits from this part of your spine and branches out to underneath, like literally if you were to grab your butt cheek, um, it actually branches out there and also shares branches to the perineum or the pelvic region. So nerves that supply the skin help send sensory messages to your brain. And we can really help calm the nervous system by providing some novel, really simple techniques to help mobilize these nerves and also help with blood flow and draining and just literally kind of giving your brain and your nervous system a manual therapy refreshment okay but we're not working with muscle here so don't go blaming you know piriformis or you know your pelvic floor muscles we're literally working with the nerves that supply the muscles and when nerves get cranky guess what your muscles are going to tense and reflexively try to protect you because that is a reflex, right? So the purpose of touch should be to provide cues and messages of safety and tender love and care for yourself, okay? So I'm going to do my best to show you solo with this camera of how to do this technique. So bear with me as I move the camera down. And you're literally going to lie on your side, take your hand, grab a hold of your sit bone, right? So if you're on your side, grab a hold around your sit bone, knees to your chest, and lift your cheek. Literally, it's that simple. So just lift your cheek or the side that's bothering you. And really, you can do this for both sides. And you don't want to have a vice grip. You're just kind of sticky pad on your hand, on your skin. So this would be ideal if I didn't have pants on, but your hand can be directly on the skill and you're stretching your skin. You're not poking, you're not digging, but you're just stretching. And then breathe. This would be an awesome time to breathe into your tailbone, into your back, into your tummy. And then just notice the sensations that arise for you. And you want to hold this for about two minutes. This would always be, also be a good time to sing a song. <laughs> and then when you're ready, gently lower your skin down. The slower you go, the more time your nervous system has to adapt. And then you would be done. But wait, there's more. So you did all this yummy stuff to yourself. We need to integrate that even further for your brain. So what I like to do after that is to get you to move, right? So how do we move and mobilize the nerves of the pelvis? Simple, do whatever is fun for you. So for example, maybe getting into a deep squat. Maybe you extend your leg. Right? Maybe you rock back and forth. Maybe you do a downward dog. Right? You could also do a lunge. So sky's the limit. Move 
get movement in your tissues, they love it, they crave it, and that's going to help integrate any type of hands-on work that you do for yourself.